All right, so we're just going to do a daily review, um, and it's just, can we still complete the square? So um, maybe press pause and do it and see if you get the same answer. Okay, so the way I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore this guy here, and I'm going to look at everything that's highlighted in yellow. Now, all I want to do is go straight to the square. Now, I'm going to go X, and because that's negative, I'm going to put minus, and I'm going to halve whatever this is. So, well, that's 2, so it's 1. And it, I'm going straight to the square, so I've, I've got the square done. Now, I'm good, all right? Now, I'm always going to take away whatever this number is squared. So, that number squared is just 1, okay? And now I'm going to bring down this minus 3. So minus 3 equals 0. So our um, equation in completed the square form is um, x minus 1 squared minus 4 equals naught. Okay? So if you remember how to do that, good on you. Now the second one is a non-monic because it has a negative here in front. Okay, now we can't complete the square with something that's greater, I mean, different than a monic. So we need to take it away. So I'm going to go minus, and I'm going to get my red pen again, minus, and get square brackets. And I'm going to put just these two things in there. So x squared, and then because that's plus, I'm going to go minus 4x. All right. And then I'll bring this guy out on the outside. Okay. Now, I'm going to complete the square just like I did in part one um, inside the square bracket. So I'm going to go minus what's half of four. That's two. So it's going to be x minus because of this minus two straight to the square. And then we're going to take away whatever this number is squared. So two squared is four. And then I'm going to close the brackets. And then I go plus one. Now, what's really important is that we ski jump now. So I'm going to put this negative times it by that. And I'm going to go this negative times it by that. So it's going to make that negative four positive four. So let's write it out. I'm going to leave it in pink. So minus x minus two squared. So I've ski jumped that bit. Plus four plus one equals naught. So if I just finish it off, it will be minus x minus 2 squared plus 5 equals naught. So that's this question and completing the square form. Now the second part is like, what does this answer mean for their graphs? Well, if you said their vertex, you'd be correct. Okay, so the vertex for number 1 will be... It's the opposite sign of that for the x value, so that would be 1. And the, keep the sign for that, so minus 4. And for number 2, let's look at it. So it's going to be the opposite sign of that. So vertex, so it's going to be 2. And then it's, you're going to keep that sign there, so that's 5. Now, if you don't believe me, check it on Desmos, because it will um, let you know if it's right or wrong. All right, so that's the end of our daily review. Peace out.